Okay, now let's turn our focus to the drive unit. And I'll identify some of the components. This is the drive plate. This is a caterpillar chain assembly. This is a drive dog, of which there are nine on this caterpillar chain. We have a pressure plate under here. We have bearings and shafts, gearbox, roller chain, and we have inspection sections at each side. The inspection section at this end has a hole in it, and that is where we put the lubricator. So the lubricator brush sits right in there. So what can go wrong with your drive unit? Well, we find that uh, probably the most prevalent thing is that slack chain that should be pulled out of the slack side of the drive isn't being pulled out. And so this drive unit has to try and push it, shove it forward. And when that happens, the drive dogs will have to labor more than they're supposed to. Um, typical drive unit here, these drive dogs grab the horizontal bearing and uh, push this chain or pull this chain through. So there's a tight side, there's a side with the highest tension in the whole system and on the opposite side it has the lowest tension on the whole system. So obviously we put our take-up unit on the output side of the drive unit because it, can, it doesn't have to work as hard to pull the chain slack out. So, if the chain slack is stuck in the, the track just down from the drive unit, these dogs will not disengage from the chain properly and they'll try to push it forward. And that will eventually cause uh, noises and a, chain, and a jam of the Caterpillar chain unit. And uh, what you'll find is that there's a couple of hold down plates on each side. When your drive finally gives up and jams, those plates will be uh, bent and that'll be the evidence that you need to decide what's happened here. Um, another big problem with drive units is that the, uh, the drive dogs aren't engaged on the proper bearing. This is so important and we have stickers on every single drive that explain the, the correct bearing yet people still get it wrong. The horizontal bearing must be I'm going to show this upside down. The horizontal bearing must be within these drive dog like this. On some of our older style units, the uh, drive dogs can be made to go around these vertical bearings like this. But the result is that um, you eventually get jamming in these drive dogs. Eventually they wear to the point where we're now stuck in between these two uh, dogs here. So these vertical bearings get stuck in there and they don't release. So when the drive dog comes around and is trying to come back on the return side, it doesn't release, it pulls the chain up, you have a chain jam. Now just some general things about these components. You can see when, you get, when the drive is new, everything has been lubricated properly. The drive dogs themselves have a spring in them, in each, that's in this case amply greased with uh, a white lithium grease. The same holds true for the pins that hold them to these two roller chains. They have ample grease on them, I can see right here. And the end rollers, drive dog rollers here, they uh, ride on the pressure plate all the way around. And they uh, also have a lot of grease I can see coming out of the ends of them. So that's important. It's important that you do that once a year. Take off those components. It doesn't take very long and re-grease them. The <clears throat> this caterpillar chain, just like every other chain in the world, over time will wear and it'll get slightly longer. But normally that matches the wear on the main conveyor chain. When you change your conveyor chain, say it's 15 years old and it's worn out, now you bought a new one, you should really change this chain too because the pitch between these dogs will be exactly six inches uh, when new and over time it may become six and a quarter inches or something like that so the uh, the uh, chain will not uh, the caterpillar chain will not engage properly on a new chain like it did in the old chain this chain assembly itself you can see here moves up and down 
the springs on these drive dogs actually act like a take-up unit. Uh, even though the bearings on, these, on this plate can be moved outwards. So we have adjusting bolts on this one, for example, right here. That's for initial adjustment. You really shouldn't have to adjust these much uh, over the years. As these chains wear, uh, these drive dogs will cause this chain, because they have springs on them, they'll cause this chain to raise up, to take up that slack. But if you find that they have, uh, they're not doing their job and this chain is loose, then yes, you can loosen off these four bolts on these pillow block bearings, move out this shaft and tighten that caterpillar chain up. Uh, the only other item on here which may require some maintenance over the years would be either the pressure plate and the wear strips. There's wear strips underneath this roller chain and uh, the pressure plate is on top of it. So that roller chain is sandwiched between a pressure plate and wear strips and occasionally um, you may find that uh, those wear out over time. The, uh, the next most common problem on a drive unit would be basically gearbox and motor, one or the other. So you've, your system's gone down and you need to uh, figure out what's going on. You've looked at the cat chain, there's no jam in the system. Um, what we do is we take off the, uh, the roller chain between the gearbox and the this uh, shaft over here and probably take the cover off the motor and just spin it manually to see if it actually is turning the gearbox. If the gearbox is jammed it's usually uh, not reparable so you have to replace the, gear, the gearbox. Uh, if it turns freely, if the motor uh, fan turns freely, um, it's usually an indication that the motor itself is gone. So something's happened and those uh, uh, can happen every three or four years. And that's basically uh, what you can expect to uh, see happen to your drive and how to uh, counteract that.